So this is like my third time trying to do this video for y'all. Uh, here we go. I upgraded the studio because of one thing. My vocals was not sounding completely right and it was taking me a little too long to get the vocals EQ the way I wanted them to. So at first I had the Sterling and the pop filter. Now the Sterling is the surround that surrounds the mic. Let me show you guys what that is. And so I had the Sterling and the stand up pop filter. And this, this thing right here, you see this thing right here. And you know, it surrounds the mic. But for some reason to me, it didn't sound quite right. And I'm gonna show y'all a demonstration cause I just upgraded and I bought the Iconic Mars Comet. Comet. And this is what it looks like. This is the box. So this is the Iconic Mars Comet. And I'm very pleased with what it has going on. Um. So let's jump into this quick Pro Tools session. So let's jump in this quick Pro Tools session. And um, in this Pro Tools session, what I did was I had the Sterling and the pop filter. Then I went to nothing on it at all, just the mic by itself. And I, then I went to with the comment. And um, let's jump into Pro Tools. Let me show y'all guys how this went on the sound check test. So this is what we have, um, this beat. I will let y'all hear with the vocals. So let's let's do a dry run. Well, let's do it with the beat first. First is the Sterling and the pop filter. Yeah. DJ 912 got another, another, another. Mic check, one, two, what you gonna do? When I pull up on you, you ain't got the drip, you got the move, hey. All right, so you got that. Remember, that's with the Sterling. The next one you finna hear is without anything on it. Know who it is, you know who I be. When I pull up on you, you got the drip, you got the lead, hey. Now let's do it with the comment on it from Iconic Mars. Be this vocal tape here. When I pull up on you, you know just what to do. You ain't about that drip game, then it's sorry for you. you. Now, automatically, what I heard was the presence of my vocal change from these these two right here to this last one. I hear more more of the tone of my voice versus this first tape. Now I'm gonna let you guys hear the first tape without the beat behind it. Mic check, one, two, what you gonna do when I pull up on you? You ain't got that drip, you gotta move, hey. You already notice a distinguished difference uh, by hearing a lot of the room noise. And that's what I was trying to counsel out because especially on the top end of my vocals, I hear a lot of room noise. Um, and it's probably from the reflection from it bouncing off the wall. Uh, now this is with nothing on it. It's gonna be this line right here. It's just a mic by itself. Know who it is. You know who I be. When I pull up on you, if you got the drip, you gotta leave. Hey. And especially in the sessions sections where you hear me getting louder, you can really hear that room noise picking up in the back. Now let's go with the comment from Iconic Mars. When I pull up on you, you know just what to do. If you ain't about that drip game, then it's sorry for you. You already know who I really be. And like I said, you can notice the presence of my vocals a lot more. It punches through a lot more, give you a lot more warmer tone, a more rounder feeling. Um, <clears throat> and I think this is gonna be good for anybody with a home studio that's trying to that doesn't have sound that doesn't have sound treatment because. It brings that mic, uh, it brings your vocals and it kind of puts it directly in the mic. <clears throat> Versus with that Sterling, I, I think that was more of a look thing. I don't think that really helped a lot. Um, sound treated room is going to be best. You know what I'm saying? Cannot deny that. Um, sound treated rooms are going to be the very best. But for a quick, um, a quick fix, 
the iconic Mars comment is gonna be it's gonna be a dope dope look for you, and I think it's only like a hundred bucks. Um, and that's the main thing that I heard. And to me, even even with uh when I was doing my my videos, posting on TikTok or whatever, when I was trying to do it with um with the microphone without the comment, the last couple takes I did sound way better better, um because I'm running off the 60D and I'm running everything directly through the computer, so the mic sound way way better. Um and y'all guys are gonna hear it in other videos coming real real soon. Um, but that's just a quick thing. And I'm gonna let you guys hear it when I compress it. So uh, what I did was I compressed it, then I EQ'd it. So I'm, I'm gonna let you hear it with the compressor, compression and EQ. Um, the compressor I'm using is the Arc Comp by Waves, and the EQ I'm using is the Neutron Elements by Isotope. It was actually free when I got it, so. DJ. When I pull up on you, you know just what to do. If you ain't about that drip game, then it's sorry for you. You already know who I really be. DJ 912, and I'm fresh up out the V. All right, so that was just compression. That didn't have any EQ on it. Let's drop a little EQ on it. When I pull up on you, you know just what to do. If you ain't about that drip game, then it's sorry for you. You already know who I really be. When I pull up on you, you know just what to do. If you ain't about that drip game, then it's sorry for you. You already know who I really be. When I pull up on you, you know just what to do. If you ain't about that drip game, then it's sorry for you. You already know. Who I really be. When I pull up on you, you know just what to do. If you ain't about that drip game, then it's sorry for you. And I really think that's all I need. But uh, on my last couple of vocals that I did, I had to do so much processing to it as well, man. But let's go with the Sterling on it, right? And let's see how much processing I have to do. Same compression. Same thing. I don't think I... Let's reset the comp uh, EQ. Let's hear it one time with the uh, without the EQ and just compression. And then I'm gonna EQ it. Mic check one two. What you gonna do when I pull up on you? If you ain't got that drip, you gotta move. Hey. Mic check one two. What you gonna do when I pull up on you? If you ain't got that drip, you gotta move. Hey. Mic check one two. So if you notice when I when I boosted this low end, you hear all that tonal stuff that I'm talking about that I that I picked up um sonically that I'm hearing in my vocals. Um I'm, I'm gonna pull it back down and I'm gonna boost it so you can hear it. Check one two. What you gonna do when I pull up on you? If you ain't got that drip, you gotta move. Hey. Check one two. What you gonna do when I pull up on you? If you ain't got that drip, you gotta move. Check one two. What you gonna do when I pull up on you? If you ain't got that drip, you gotta move. Check one two. What you gonna do when I pull up on you? If you ain't got that drip, you gotta move. Check one two. What you gonna do when I pull up on you? If you ain't got that drip, you gotta move. Check one two. What you gonna do when I pull up on you? If you ain't got that drip, you gotta move. Check one two. What you gonna do when I pull up on you? If you ain't got that drip, you gotta move. Check one two. What you gonna do when I pull up on you? If you ain't got that drip, you gotta move. Check one two. What you gonna do when I pull up on you? If you ain't got that drip, you got. And I still hear a lot of like room noises in it, and that's the one with the Sterling and the and the pop filter on it. And it's is like I'm I'm really cutting up my vocals very very much, but with just that little bit, I want y'all to hear the difference between the first take and the third take because you're gonna hear a presence difference in the vocals. So let me set it up. 
Press play. Mic check one two. What you gonna do when I pull up on you? If you ain't got that drip, you gotta move. Hey. When I pull up on you, you know just what to do. If you ain't about that drip game, then it's sorry for you. You already know. Mic when I pull up one, on two. What you gonna do when I pull up on you? you ain't ain't See, you already hear a major difference in in the vocal presence. So. I mean, I'm not no EQ guru. I'm not no 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 expert anything by any means. But sonically, I can really really hear the difference, and I'm guaranteeing it's gonna help you take your mixes and your songs to the next level. That's just a little reason of why I changed and the product that I'm I'm using right now. Like I said, it's the iconic Mars Comet. Again, this is the iconic Mars Comet. Comet. That's been another quick tip from DJ912, man. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe, and share. And go follow all my music on all streaming platforms. DJ912, beats and actual songs. Peace, love, and light. One.